I have a story tonight with video you have to see. It involves five people arrested in a police chase and police think they might be tied to two home invasions in Sandy Springs this weekend. Look at this video. This is the moment the suspects crashed into an 18 wheeler. We highlighted it for you right down there. Channel 2's Michael Seidens picking up the story now live outside Sandy Springs Police Headquarters. And Michael, police at this point trying to figure out what this group is going to be charged with. George, we are talking about the potential of multiple felony charges in two different counties. Now, I want to show you right behind me. This is obviously the Sandy Springs Police Department. You can see that one surveillance camera. Now, the reason I bring up cameras is because this group was so brazen that police tell us one of the homes they broke into actually had nine surveillance cameras and a gate, but that still didn't stop them. This is the moment a wild pursuit involving five suspected armed robbers accused of terrorizing Sandy Springs residents ends in a fiery crash along I-75 in Dooley County Sunday morning. Authorities say the suspects are driving in a stolen car when all of a sudden they collide with an 18-wheeler. Seconds later, dash cam video shows two of the suspects running away from the wreckage, but they didn't get very far. Tonight, 17-year-old Jarius Johnson, 18-year-old Jamie Brown, 20-year-old, Jacobian Williams, along with two unidentified minors, are not only facing charges in Dooley County, but also in Sandy Springs, where police believe the group may be behind two violent home invasions since Friday. The latest incident happened Sunday morning around 3 a.m. along Aberdeen Drive. The homeowner told police that five armed intruders broke into their house, but as soon as they realized that someone was home, the group took off. Now investigators believe these guys may be the same crew that broke into this 11,000 square foot home on Northside Drive Friday night. We walk around here about every night. Matter of fact, we were probably by here about an hour and a half before the incident happened on that same day. The homeowner, who was alone with her 16-year-old daughter, did not return our calls for comment, but over the weekend she posted about the horrifying encounter on the popular app Next Door, writing in part, they broke into our home on Northside Drive through the basement around 9.45 p.m. They held guns to our heads and went room to room stealing valuables, then left in two of our cars. She went on to write, we have nine security cameras, and they did not care. We have a gate and a fence, and they just jumped it. We spoke with several neighbors, including Jack and Martha Fosse. They all described what happened as an isolated incident, but still very concerning. It was shocking. It was just shocking, especially when you read the story and saw how they were attacked. And Michael's back live, and Michael, I know you showed us the end of that chase in Dooley County, but we also want to show everyone this other piece of video that really investigators say ties the suspects to at least one of the scenes. That's exactly right, George. Let's go straight to the video. So take a look at this. This is the initial traffic stop. What we were told is that stolen vehicle was actually seen in Sandy Springs outside that home invasion at 3 a.m. Then fast forward about four hours later, that car's pulled over. You can see the drivers out there. The officer begins to search him. That's when he finds a firearm on his waist. Also at the time, the driver had no idea, but that car had pinged back to Sandy Springs. They were wanted as soon as uh, the occupants in that car see what's going on. They jump into the uh, driver's seat, they take off, and then that whole high-speed chase ensues. But again, George, right now, uh, detectives here will not give us a definitive answer. They say they are still working to see if there is evidence that this is the same crew working together. Already, you saw that clip. <laughs> you saw what is going on. We're getting ready to talk about the global reset and what the global reset is going to look like. Yes, the global reset is on and popping. And guys, get ready for a wild ride. So <clears throat> it's raining, right? And into a lot of lives, a lot of rain is beginning to go it's going to start falling let me put this away for a second it's about to get wild once again this is glendon cameron over at the corporate citizen where we teach you how to build businesses and i want you guys to pay careful attention to what i'm about to drop it's about to get crazy um I've been looking at a lot of social signals, right? And one of the things that I'm starting to see 
one of the things that is becoming very evident to me is the economy is slowing down. Uh, with my late rentals, with the sugar baby index, the economy is definitely slowing down and this is going to keep happening. This isn't going to stop. Like that clip I showed you at the beginning of the video. My neighborhood, Sandy Springs, I saw two more homeless people today. Two more, two. I've never seen these folks before and they're clearly homeless. They had that homeless look about them, right? And what I feel is beginning to happen is the slow decay of the economic fiber in America. So what does the global reset look like? I'm about to give you some industries that are going to be growth industries. If you want to get into real estate and if you can buy yourself an extended stay motel, that's going to be a growth industry next 10 years. People during the global reset, right? People who had houses are going to go from renting a house to an apartment. And then there's going to be certain people who are going to really, really fall. They're going to go from renting the house to being homeless. That's the biggest fall of all. But you're going to have a group of people who are going to descend from a house, pass an apartment and move, move to an extended stay motel. Extended, extended stay motels are going to be a boom business. So if you want to get in real estate, if you can get your hands on the fourplex, you can get your hands on the sixplex or 12 plex or 20 plex or 30 plex. Cheap, affordable housing is going to be in serious demand during the global reset. Also, these will be some growth industries cyber security, IT. You could be in college for cyber security and IT and during the global reset, you could come out of college and roll into a 90 to $150,000 a year job right out of college. Why is this? Hacking is about to be stupid. Uh, you guys know my Facebook page got hacked, but you didn't know my Zoom account got hacked. Someone hacked my Zoom account, changed the password, changed the email, <clears throat> and were using my Zoom account, and I got billed for it, and I, you know, because I couldn't get into it. I couldn't access my Zoom account. So someone fa hacked my Facebook account, someone hacked my Zoom account. <clears throat> Hacking is going to be crazy. Uh, there was this guy, I forget his name, he was on The Breakfast Club, but this chick, hired a hacker to pull down his Instagram page. So hacking is about to go to an all time high. Things like your Facebook page, your Instagram account. There will be people who want, will want to access your digital assets and make money. So cyber, like this is one of the things that Google has done. With my Gmail accounts, if I log in from a different device or a different computer, it will not let me in. And I have to confirm on the device that I'm already logged in that it's me trying to get in, which is really, really good because this protects my YouTube account. This protects all this other stuff because hackers are going to try to get in everything they can. They're going to try to exploit every opportunity. So cybersecurity, IT, six-figure incomes, boom industry. And I'm not talking about for the next year or two. I'm talking about for the next decade. Decade. Because as we go through this global reset, now, if y'all remember, before the pandemic, I was doing these economy videos talking about how weak the American economy was, right? This is why without the stimulus money, we would have we would have moved to a depression. We wouldn't have moved to a recession. We would have moved to a depression. And what we're going to see, because I feel that we're not going to see another stimulus package this year, 
but if what I think is going to happen, we may see a stimulus package in 2023 or even 2022, the later part of 2022, we may see another stimulus package because right now, like homelessness, like I said, I've lived in Sandy Springs for 12 years and we had like two homeless people, two, two for 12 years. Now all of a sudden there's a proliferation of homeless people hitting up Sandy Springs. Crime is going through the roof in Buckhead. Crime is going through the roof in Sandy Springs. Crime is climbing. Now what is going on? The people who are in the lower economic strata are beyond desperate. We're past desperation. What is beyond desperate? I don't give a damn. I'll do whatever I need to do to give me some money. These guys broke into these people's houses, put a gun to their head and took not one, but two cars. See, this is one of the things that I'm beginning to see with my car rental business that people on the lower economic strata are wilding out. I mean, I want you to think, okay, you're not doing that well. Life is hard. You're struggling, right? And then you go through this period of time where you just get used to dysfunction. You get used to um, life not being that good. And you try to turn bad things into positive things, like getting out of jail. You know, you, you try to turn that. So what we're going to see is a massive, massive shift. Once again, as I said, some people are going to go down. Some people are going to go up. And what's going to happen is the have nots. Let's talk about the have nots. There were already more have nots than haves. That's just the way the game was played. The, the number of have nots is about to exponentially explode. You, and I'm going to talk to you. You may be working a good job. You might be living in an apartment. You may have a car. Your life is fine right now. As the global reset starts to plunder industries, you may lose that job and you may be pushed into the global reset. This is why I stress you guys need to have a long-term emergency fund, a short-term emergency fund, and a family operating account. You need to have access to some cash because when this thing hits, it's not going to sneak up on you. It's just going to be bam. Ed, we need to talk to you in the break room and you're going to go in there and there's going to be a little lady and she's going to hand you a folder and Ed, you no longer have a job. But Ed, you don't have no money in the bank. Ed, you don't have no reserves. You, Ed, you have no safety net. So you're not just going to drop. You're going to be in an economic free fall. You're going to literally go from ash, classy to ashy just like that. And this is what a lot of people, there's a lot of ads out there. There are people who have jobs, they have a car, they have a house, they have an apartment. They're doing okay. The global reset is going to disturb the lifestyles of many, many people. Many, many people. This is one of the things. Like the other day, Facebook and Instagram were down. And people were freaking out. Why? Because they could not make money. They couldn't make money. So just multiply that times millions of people, millions of folks who are going to be in an economic free fall. Another growth industry, armed security. Anything that has to do with security, and I'm talking about camera systems. I'm talking about armed security guards. I'm talking about armored cars. All of this stuff is going to be a boom industry because here, here's the thing. During the Great Depression, we did not have social media. So you were doing bad. Your neighbor was doing bad. You didn't really get to see 
who was doing well. You didn't get to see the Vanderbilts. You didn't get to see the Mellons. You, they were over here. They were apart from the common masses, right? Well, social media is going to create such an extraordinary thirst. Um, you're going to be, let's call you, you're, let's say you were reset. Let's just say you're a member of the reset class, right? And you're sitting in your room because you're renting a room because you no longer can rent an apartment. You can't, you damn sure can't rent a house or buy a house. So you're renting this room for four, five, six hundred bucks a month. And you're in your room and you're on your phone and you're looking and you're seeing all of these people on Instagram, all of these people on YouTube, all these people on Facebook, and they're living these lives. And it's going to make you feel some kind of way. And you're going to get angry because you feel that you should have what they have. You feel that you should have what they have. I mean, they ain't no different than you. They're no more special than you. You're like, you're going to get enraged. And this is what's going to birth the new criminal class. See, there are many people out here who are perfectly fine working their job, driving their car, living in their apartment, living in their house. Once they become reset, this thirst is going to turn people who had never broke the law in their life, other than the speeding ticket, it's going to turn these people into criminals. They're going to get into hacking. They're going to get into B&E, which is breaking and entering. They're going to get into whatever little petty crime they can get into. They're going to do whatever. They're going to steal. So this is going to birth a new criminal class and the hardcore criminals the career criminals are going to uh, uh, this this is going to blow your mind one of the hardcore career criminals is going to figure out that they can teach people how to be criminals let me say this again what, what you're going to have are thug universities you're going to have online universities teaching people how to commit crimes, how to be hackers, how to commit credit card fraud. Some, some of these career criminals are gonna figure out that they can make a lot of money teaching other people how to be criminals, teaching people how to hack, teaching people how to skim credit cards, teaching people how to do white collar crime. Once this new class of criminal comes on, the laws are going to change because right now you do white collar crime. You, you really don't really do that much time. I mean, you could do your first white collar crime offense and get probation. So what they're going to do, and this is something else. This is another, you know, for you stock people. Companies that, you know, stocks that own prisons, they're going to explode. They're going to explode because what they're going to do is, you know, once this new criminal class, which is going to be brown, it's going to be black, it's going to be Latino. Once these people start to be, get into the white collar crime, the, the, those soft sentences are going to go away. And people are going to start doing hard time, 10, 15, 20 years for white collar crime. Because there's going to be so many of them and they're going to create this as a social deterrent to keep these people from committing these crimes. And I feel the global reset is from now, 2021, to 2011. 20, uh, let's see, 2022, no, 20, 20, maybe 2030, if, uh, if I'm looking at it right, because it's 2021, yeah, the 2030. We're gonna see this. This is gonna be one of the craziest decades because while we have this great social reset and all these people are shifting down shifting down we're going to have new innovations we're going to have people who are going to become extremely wealthy we're going to have it's going to be the the polarity is going to be so distinct between you're going to have some guy out here pushing a buggy right and you're going to have some kid on his computer writing some code, making a million a year. This is how distinct and crazy it's going to be. Because 
there are going to be people who are not going to be economically impacted by the reset at all. They're not going to feel nothing. They will be impacted by the social ramifications of the reset, like the clip that I played for you at the beginning of the video. These people are rich. They're not economically impacted, but they were socially impacted. This is one of the reasons I have a shotgun. This is one of the reasons I have an assault rifle. This is one of the reasons I have five guns. And this is one of the reasons that I am moving to a high rise. I know you're like, Glennon, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, this house is not easy to defend. I mean, I got a door there. I got a front door there. I got a door there um, from, I mean, literally someone can be in this house and I wouldn't know. I mean, that, that's kind of crazy, but I've thought about it. Someone could literally be downstairs doing whatever they want to do, and I would not know they're down there if I'm upstairs because I wouldn't hear them. So from a defense posture, this house is extremely hard to defend. What you're going to see is they're going to, like right now, they're just building houses with architectural elements as the forefront. If you go to Brazil, you go to Mexico, you will see people who live in wealthy neighborhoods. They have fences and gates. They, they have, they, this is going to come to America. They're not going to, they're going to start building these houses. They're going to be architecturally beautiful, but they're going to be security safe. You like one of the things I really see coming is they're going to start building houses like high, like these, the bottom may have windows, but the glass is going to be like that thick. These, they're going to build these houses with security in mind first versus architectural beauty. That's coming because what's the, what's the point in you having all this money when you're living in a house that anyone can break into? And a lot of the houses today, they're so easy to break into because you go up, well, you, the front door is nothing but glass. That is not secure. That's not a good security measure. And this, this, you know, because I've, I've seen the comments, people's like, hey, don't sell the house, you should rent it out. I'm getting rid of it. And later on, when I get a house, and it'll be a modern house, I will build it myself. I will build it to be secure first and architecturally beautiful second. So you're going to start to see security, 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 armed security, cyber security. Security is going to be a growth industry. I mean, it's going to be huge armed guards, armored cars. Security is going to be a massive growth industry because crime is going to be off the chain. Crime is going to be beyond ridiculous because right now I am just looking at my situation because I have this car, the Mercedes and the Porsche. These cars make me a target. So when I get gas, I always remove, well, the keys in my pocket, all key, all three cars are pushed to start. So when I get out the car, I get out the car with a very security minded posture. I get out, I look around. I don't be just, I don't like leave my laptop in my car. I might leave it in the X5 because the windows are tinted and you can't see what's in there. And the Porsche, the windows are tinted, you can't see what's in there. The X, the, the Mercedes is not tinted. So when I get out my car to pump gas, I get out with a very deliberate posture and I'd be looking around because you know how many people get got at gas stations? Women have had, this is where a lot of carjackings happen. This is where a lot of petty theft. This is where someone will reach in your car, pull out your laptop bag and run off. So you have to be really, really secure because we're about to enter into a criminal environment that is, that's literally going to blow your minds. Like, I don't really watch the news, but I'm getting ready to start watching the news because home invasions, home invasions are going to be a big thing. And this is one of the reasons that a lot of my wealthy friends don't want to be on YouTube. They don't want you to know that they're wealthy. And this is something else, too, because I am getting ready to stop with the receipts. Yeah, I'm getting ready to stop that. I'm getting ready to stop with the receipts. I'm getting ready to stop showing off. I'm getting ready to stop that because I realize 
in this economic environment, the things that I'm doing is making me a target. It's like, oh, he has three cars. He lives in a million dollar house. Oh, that's someone I want to stick. I want to stick him for his paper. So I'm getting ready to adopt a very defensive posture. I'm getting ready to chill out a little bit because what I forecast, and hopefully I'm wrong, hopefully I'm wrong, but you're going to see that the great mass of the great unwashed masses, the great lot of people who got globally reset, I mean, they're going to be very angry. They're going to be very, very angry. And they're going to lash out. And they're going to lash out at anyone who they perceive to be doing better than them. I mean, it's going to be nuts. So if you are wealthy or you have assets and you're doing well, you need to be on a serious, vigilant um, situation. Like, I don't just go out and walk around without a care in the world. I'm always, and, you know, I was in the military, so that, that's part of my inbred training because I went straight from high school to the military. And I'd be on it. I'd be looking out because... This is how people get got. They, they, first of all, they get wealthy and they get comfortable and they start doing stupid stuff like leaving their MacBook Pro on the car seat or leaving the iPad on the car seat or leaving their cell phone or getting out to pump gas, got the key in the ignition and they're getting out talking on their phone and they're pumping gas and they leave the key in the ignition They've got their purse, and next thing you know, someone jumps in the car and takes off. This can happen in 10 seconds. So you're gonna see a lot of crime like that, and you're gonna see a lot of people who are gonna suffer a lot of petty theft, home invasions. Um, we're about to see, this has happened in America before. I want you to think back to Oliver twist right back in those days when parents didn't like if a girl got pregnant like the orphans that ran the streets of london these were the Ill illegitimate children of you know mom and dad was getting it on in the alley and bam mama got pregnant and had a kid and she cast this kid out into the world and they became a street urchin so this happened in london this happened in america this has happened before. If you do some research, you will see the FBI and gangsters and the sheriffs were having shootouts in the broad daylight. Shootouts in the middle of the street. That's coming back. That's coming back. You're going to see the police having shootouts with criminals in broad daylight. And this is, you know, and you can become a victim of just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, because once again, these people are not going to care. They're not going to care. And if you are someone who is doing the right things, you're getting yourself some assets, you got a business, you're making money, you're taking care of your fam, you will become a target for these people. So success will not only attract money, it will attract these social uh, reset. Let's call them the social resets, the social reset class. I estimate the social reset class to grow by 30, 40%, because we already have a group of people. Like if you look at society, 15% of the population, we don't have a job for it because they're intellectually incapable of doing certain things. So there's only so many things. They could be our janitors, they could be the street sweepers, and they could be custodians, that kind of thing. So we already got a large group of people in that class. And let's see, we have 330 million people, 10% is 35%. We've got 45 million people already even before the global reset that were in that social class so this is going to grow 30 percent so 
we're going to go from 45 million people who were socially reset to about 100 million people who will be socially reset. That is a huge demographic. Huge demographic. So with the socially reset people, we're going to see a dramatic increase in drug use. Uh, Molly, Fendental. Uh, we're going to see massive, like, the people who sell marijuana, cocaine, and all this other stuff, their business is about to blow up. They're about to blow up. They won't be able to keep up with demand because, once again, 100 million people is a significantly large demographic out of a population of 330 million. That's like 30%. 30% of the population is going to be ass out. 30% of the population is going to be struggling. 30% of the population won't have money. And the illegitimate children of these people, because there was a study that was done, right? of kids with genius level IQs, right? And they followed these kids for 30 years. So if you are poor with a genius level IQ, unless you have some type of social intervention, the chances of you being a really smart poor person are exceptionally high. The people who with the genius level IQs that did well came from well-to-do families. So what we're going to have with this do, this big social reset is a lot of people are going to be poor and it's going to grow and it's going to become really, really bad. It's really, really bad. I mean, you think like teenage pregnancy has been dropping for years. Teenage pregnancy is about to go back up. Um, high school dropouts dropping for years. That's about to go back up. You're going to see a whole social cast and this is what's funny while all of this is happening over here you're going to have people over here who are going to be getting fantastically wealthy i'm not talking i'm talking about some guy's going to create an app an internet company and he's going to become a billionaire in like one year this is what this this is just going to be a really small percentage of the population just super they're going to be the a new class of the super rich you know, there's rich and there's going to be the super rich and the super rich are going to be people with net worths of 250 million and up. They're going to be the super rich and they will not. And they're going to have armed security. They're going to have guards and stuff. See, this new class of the super rich is going to be very aware of what's going over here with the socially reset class. And they're going to do everything they can to stay away from the socially reset. They're not going to mix with them. They're not going to hang with them. If they employ people uh, who are part of the socially reset, there will be a distance between them and their employees. They're, 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 they're just, they're not, they're going to do everything in their power to stay away from these people. Everything in their power. And I predict this is going to play out over the next 10 years. The social reset, the churning of our economy, because what I see happening, because once again, the sugar baby index, I know a lot of y'all make jokes and think that's really funny, but it's really real. The number of 60, 50, and 40-year-old women, that's key, 60, 50, and 40-year-old women who are on the secret benefit site has exploded has exploded, okay? So that's one sign. I'm in the car rental business. I wake up, I got 10 people late. Uber, Lyft has slowed down. DoorDash, you know, my hardcore Uber and Lyft people, they're still getting it because they are workaholics. They're used to working. But the casual people who kinda got used to that easy money, they're suffering. So what we're going to see is a big shift in the economy. We're going to see new industries created. Because once again, as someone who used to be in the secondary market, the first market is you buy some from Amazon, you buy some from Macy's. That's the first market, the primary market. The secondary market is Craigslist, and, uh, Facebook Marketplace. And then the third market is the criminal market. And you're going to see the secondary market explode. 
you're going to see the criminal markets explode there will be new industries there will be new uh criminal millionaires i mean it's going to be nuts i mean one of the things if you're willing to apply yourself you're not going to get socially reset but if you're just out here feeling that you should work your little 40 hours and you should be earning a living wage and you should be you're in trouble baby you're in trouble you're in trouble because i work now this week it's come down the last five months i was working about 100 hours a week about 100 hours a week and now i'm like i feel better now because it's like 80 now <laughs> i feel i feel it's better because I, I'm like, I, I have days where I can predict what's going to happen. But if you are just feeling that you can go to work, you can come home, unless you're in IT or security, those folks, like you can get out of college with a cybersecurity certificate, make 150 a year, go to work, do your job, do what you do. Yeah, you can do that. But if you're working in the warehouse, because see, this is something else that's going to happen. All these jobs that people don't want to do. They don't want to work at McDonald's. They don't want to work at Burger King. They don't, they don't want to do this. These people are in trouble and don't even know it. Because I predict in the next five years, you will not be able to go into a McDonald's, a Wendy's. Chick-fil-A might be a little different. Chick-fil-A has a different culture. But if you go into one of these places, it's going to be like, do, 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 do. You're going to put your order in on this kiosk and your food's going to slide out of tray. And with warehouse workers, they're going to automate warehouses, so they're going to need less warehouse workers. So a lot of these low skill, low wage jobs are going to disappear, which is just going to make the crime go through the roof. The crime is about like, like I said, I'm getting ready to chill out on a lot of stuff I was doing because I was just making myself a target. There, there are hackers out there who can virtually get into anything. They can get into your bank account. They can get into your um, checking account. They can get into your social. They, they, they're hackers who's that good. And I'm like about to chill out a little bit because I don't want to raise the antenna of one of those hackers. So I'm getting ready to chill out on a lot of the stuff that I used to do because the thing is I'm recognizing that the environment that we're about to enter we're about to enter this environment well we're already there it's just going to get deeper and worse it's going to get deeper and worse and man you know we're about to be in darwin's law only the fittest are going to survive the weak are going to perish if you don't have family you don't have a network you're in trouble you're in trouble and you don't even know it. So all this lone wolf stuff, if you look at the economic implosion of Bosnia and Venezuela, all of the lone wolves, the people who were held up, they were the first to go because they didn't have family. They were the first to go. So if you need to start building the network, you need to start building connections, you need to start building affiliations, you, you need to start because I'm, I'm telling you it's about to get very very cold this 10-year winter we're going to have a 10-year winter maybe longer where this period is going to be happening because socially we have all this technology but from a social fabric part we're so far apart from each other so it's going to get really 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 messed up so if you're out here starting the business, you're pushing against being reset, you should be okay. You should be okay. But if you're just out here living your life, doing what you need to do, uh, the reset's going to get you. I mean, it is, I mean, it's literally blowing my mind what I see happening, what I see coming. And you know, you, you need to start a business, a YouTube channel, a podcast. You need to be working. You need to align yourself. If you're dating, you need to align yourself with a chick who has a work ethic. If she just want to lay back and take the dick, uh, get rid of her. Because all she's going to do is weigh you down. 
she's just gonna weigh you down. You need to find someone that's out here charging, that's trying to build something, that's trying to make some money. And this is why the number of women who are populating these sugar baby websites are exploding is because they're desperate, okay? They're desperate. And I'm here to tell you that if you are not careful, you're gonna get reset. You're going to go from living in that house to a room or you might be homeless. You might be homeless. And right now, if you're in a good position, this is the time for you to be a busy little squirrel and to start stacking some nuts. I know there are many videos over here on YouTube talking about savers or losers. If you're in that income danger zone, number of number one, $50,000 a year, you need to be stacking as much cash as you can. You need to be stacking your cash. I don't care what all these other folks say. I'm just telling you that when it hits and you have no money, like I'm about to give you a scenario. Let's say your name is Ed and Ed, you get called to the conference room and they let you go and you have no emergency fund. You have no assets. You have nothing. All right. And then Maurice, who works with you, Ed, Maurice has been listening to this channel. Maurice has a cleaning company. Maurice works that job right next to you, Ed, but Maurice had a cleaning company and, you know, he took his package and he went full time in his cleaning company. So you, Ed, you went from your apartment to a room to homeless. And then one day you answer this ad in the paper and then you go in and you see it's your boy Maurice. He hiring people. That's what's going to happen for the busy squirrels who are putting nuts away who are doing stuff, who are keeping their job, starting businesses, preparing for the, you know, year, years ago, years and year, years, years and years ago, I had a guy named uh, Morris. He bought my storage auction book, right? And uh, about two years, because I had a Facebook group and I, I was doing all kinds of stuff, I get an email. It's like, hey man, I, I lost my job today. And I was like, man, I'm sorry to hear that. He said, don't be. I'm getting a benefits package. I'm getting unemployment. I get to keep my benefits for two years and I make more money doing the storage auction business than I do it for my job. So it's like free money and I can just do the storage auction thing full time. See, Morris was prepared. He started putting nuts away before winter came. And if you're someone who's not putting any nuts away, you don't have no cash, you don't have no business, you don't have no... Winter is going to be brutal for you. Brutal. Why do you think I'm starting a credit repair agency? That's going to be a boom industry for the next 10 years. Boom. Boom industry. So what is getting ready to happen, I want you folks to understand, is that the global reset is on and popping right now. And if you're in a good situation, you need to get busy. You need to start preparing for winter. You need to start putting some nuts up because I'm telling you what's about to come up. I'm telling you, the number of homeless people is exploding. The number of people living in vans will explode. You need to get you some skill sets. For those of you who want to avoid being reset and you want to get you some skill sets, go below and get into the corporate papers. I got something special that's going to be happening this month and you want to get in. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.